Toby's Homeschool Adventures. What will I learn today? Join me as I explore the small country of Montenegro. Montenegro is located on the European continent. It lies across from Italy along the Adriatic Sea. Fact number one, the name Montenegro came from the Italians. It means Black Mountain. We arrived at Montenegro by water. We enjoyed breakfast on our ship while watching the sun rise over the breathtaking Bay of Kotor. After breakfast, we headed off the ship to begin exploring this small but interesting country. Fact number two, there are 650,000 people in the country. That's about the size of Austin, Texas. Fact number three, mountains cover 70% of the country. Fact number four, there are over 400 mountain tunnels for cars and trains. They also have lots of switchbacks, which are skinny roads that have extremely sharp turns. This was our road for the morning. We left the Bay of Kotor on flat ground, but we're soon high up on the mountain road. There wasn't much between our bus and the steep mountainside. It was especially scary when our bus had to share the road with cars heading the opposite way. I got carsick and puked from the quick elevation change and all the switchbacks. The fresh air and views from the top made it all worth it though. At one point, we had views of Bosnia, Italy, Croatia, and Albania. Fact number five. The Bay of Kotor is a UNESCO protected site, which means it's special and unique. Fact number six. Their most famous ruler was King Nicholas. He had nine daughters and three sons. Because his daughters married royals from all over, King Nicholas was nicknamed the father-in-law of Europe. Fact number seven, the government is no longer a monarchy, they are a parliamentary democracy. As we enter Jagusi Valley, we stop for a snack at Montenegro's oldest restaurant. I enjoyed locally made prosciutto, cheese, butter, and bread. Afterwards, we continued our journey towards the seaside town of Budva. We passed through Cetinia, the former capital of Montenegro. The current capital is Podgorica. Fact number eight. Cetinia is one of the rainiest cities in Europe. Ironic since they rely heavily on solar energy. After leaving Jagusi Valley, we drove a longer road with gorgeous views of the Adriatic Sea. Soon, we spotted the rooftops of Budva in the distance. Fact number nine. The town of Budva is over 2,000 years old. Budva means bull in Montenegro. Villagers once used bulls to pull their carriages not horses. Here I am, standing outside the walls of Budva Old Town. Standing outside the Bishop's Palace, standing on a tree stump, and standing seaside outside the fortress. My parents let me explore the beach for a bit. I had fun throwing rocks and pebbles into the water. Number 
Number 10. The country lies in a seismic zone. That means they experience earthquakes. Budva Old Town was severely damaged by an earthquake 40 years ago. It took 10 years to repair it. Now that the town has been restored, wandering the alleyways is like stepping back in time. When Montenegro became a country after civil war broke out in former Yugoslavia. The citadel seen here and in the next two photos shows the most fortified area within the old town. Fact number 12. The country's main religion is Eastern Orthodox Christianity. We bought pizza for lunch and ate it as we walked. It really hit the spot. Soon, it was time to return to KOTOR. Kotor is famous for the walled fortress that stretches three miles up the mountain above the old town. Look, I'm standing on a real drawbridge over a real moat that's surrounding a real fortress. The Cathedral of St. Trifon was built 1,200 years ago. The earthquake that struck Budva 40 years ago also damaged Kotor Old Town. As a result, the main clock tower leans like the Tower of Pisa in Italy. But don't worry, I worked hard to straighten it out. After exploring a while, we stopped at a cozy restaurant to enjoy an early dinner. Before I knew it, it was time to say goodbye to beautiful Montenegro. Fact number 13. The official language of Montenegro is Montenegrin. Goodbye Montenegrin is Dovigenia. So, Dovigenia from me in Montenegro. Thank you for watching Toby's Homeschool Adventures.